What if I told you there was a place on the surface of Mars where water could flow? It'd be a game changer in terms of colonizing the red planet. Well, there is. It's called Hellas Planitia. Let's find out about it. So, first of all, where is Hellas Planitia? Here we can see in the diagram it's found in the southern hemisphere of Mars. It's actually the third largest crater in the solar system and it's an enormous structure that's almost 2,300 kilometers wide. Here it is in slightly greater detail. We can see it's got lots of interesting features that Hellas Chaos, which what a place that might be. Uh, some of the Vallis, here we can see. And of course the, the Hellas name itself comes from Greece. Those of you that are good at languages will know that, that Aias is the name for Greece in Greek. Of course, those pictures you saw of the fake colour to show the elevation is the actual Hellas Planitia. It doesn't look all that interesting, does it, with its red colours? Um, but it's much deeper than the rest of Mars, as we're about to find out. Surrounded by huge cliffs that are actually almost seven kilometres tall. So, and that's 8.2 kilometres below the, what, what we call the Mars datum, which is equivalent to what we call sea level on Earth. So imagine being 8.2 kilometres below the surface with these huge cliffs on the edge. It, it must be a, an absolute wonder to see it. The surface of Hellas Planitia is, is a very strange honeycomb-like floor as well that you can see in this depiction here. Um, you can see the, the ridges and the the troughs. It really is a strange place. So interestingly, because it's 8.2 kilometers below the, the level, it means that the pressure of the atmosphere is a lot heavier. So does that mean that we could have liquid water on the surface? And, and the answer is that it, it, it almost and yes, in the same answer. It's, the pressure of the, the atmosphere at that level is around 12.4 millibars, which is almost double what it is normally on Mars. And then this means that the pressure is above the triple point of water. So perhaps this, a saline solution with large amounts of salt in it would be able to flow. It, it wouldn't sublimate like it normally does. But just out of interest, here we can see to scale the Grand Canyon. So obviously the largest uh, system on the planet Earth to structures of a similar type and we can see that the Hellas Planitia is just enormous its scale is, is, is just huge. Hellas Planitia is located roughly equivalent on Mars as Melbourne is on planet Earth so in the southern hemisphere but not at too far south of latitude in fact the temperature is too much and interesting because it is deeper the temperatures in, on Hellas Planitia are relatively mild particularly in summer where it could reach up to 30 degrees and, and a nice day. Although obviously on Mars the temperatures do, do fade overnight as the atmosphere is thinner. But on this occasion only to minus 40. So there are colonies on planet Earth like in those in Antarctica that, extreme, that experience much worse temperatures than that. Indeed, even in winter it only reaches minus 96 degrees, which is again still equivalent to temperatures that could possibly be reached at South Polar stations on, on Antarctica. On a nice day on Hellas Planitia, we could go out walking and as long as we had pressure suits and oxygen, the temperatures would be relatively comfortable as long as we have got back home in time for tea, of course, before nightfall. Hellas Planitia must be a really interesting place with vast plains and honeycomb floors. If we could one day colonize it, it would be relatively straightforward. It's certainly the place on Mars that might be best suited for human colonization with its crevices and valleys. We definitely need more missions to Hellas Planitia because we know very little about it at this point. Most of our observations are from satellites. We've never sent a rover there. It is thought that in the deep of Hellas Planitia, in the crevasses, valleys and valleys, that there are huge reserves of water. Imagine there might well be some flowing right now as we speak. We could colonize these areas, have boating trips, look up through the huge walls at the marsh, red Martian sky and dream about what might be possible later on in colonization. We could even put spotlights on the wall, make it into a nice place. There are lots of possibilities. Indeed, the geographical structures mean that we could perhaps put a roof over the top and enclose ourselves so we could fill it full of oxygen. Here we see in Hellas Planitia City, 
the sun rising over the top of a crevasse. You see the shadows hitting just like on planet Earth. There are trees and everything. I have to put a dam on one of the streams that flow and make a lake. There really are many possibilities and Hellas Planitia as a region on Mars gives us access to this. Here we can see in the distance the huge walls of the crater. It, must be, it would be an incredible place to live and possibly it will be one of the first if not the very first place to colonize after our own blue planet. If you like solar system colonization don't forget to check out some of our other videos for example the Venus Solar Shield or where we might go after Mars. Maybe you'd like a journey to the center of Jupiter, or perhaps you're a fan of Pluto, or even the lost moons of Saturn, Rhea, and Iapetus. There are plenty of videos to look at, so please don't forget to subscribe and like. I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I enjoy making them. You've made it all the way this far, so well done, and I'll see you on the next one.